Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I want to make a Halloween snippet roll. As you can see, it is twice the size as my last snipper roll that I did a few months ago. And this time I don't want to make it out of paper, but out of fabric. So I have this leftover fabric from a jute bag that I've got at, at Duoding, which is a craft store. And I wanted to repurpose it and use it for this snippet roll. So I'm going to measure out strips and then I'm going to stitch them together with my sewing machine. And now it's time to cover the base and I want to use these Tim Holtz fabrics. Some of them are from the new laboratory collection and some are a bit older. I got tiny strips because I didn't plan on using a whole lot um, to save a bit of money because the fabric is a bit expensive. Uh, so yeah, I want to make little strips of it and then I'm going to collage the fabric all over the entire strip. I'm going to glue it down with a bit of glue stick because I'm going to sew around each and every piece later on. I'm going to show you a tiny bit and then I will do the rest off camera. And now you can see all the sewing that I did. It was quite a lot of work, to be honest, a, li a little bit more than I expected, but I do really love how it turned out. I really liked the look and I left as, met, uh, as much strings as I could handle uh, because, yeah, that adds to the Halloween vibe, in my opinion. And then I'm going to start the clusters. It's basically all mini clusters that are going on this snippet roll. I will do a voiceover for first few maybe and then i will just leave the video playing with some nice music on the background because i'm doing the same exact thing all over each time basically i'm going to roughen up all the edges i'm going to do sanding i'm going to do inking and then i'm just going to assemble my clusters What's also maybe good to mention is if you plan on making a snippet like a snippet roll like this, um, what I did was I took a muffin tray and some other balls and I just pulled out all the ephemera things and snippets and stuff that I thought that I would want to use and I surrounded myself with that. And then I just started assembling pieces together um, moving them about and then once I am sure I will start to uh, roughen up the edges inking etc and then I start gluing things down so first I will just sort of like play around see what I like best and then once you have a starting point then you can start gluing things down 
it was very relaxing and I really enjoyed the process. So yeah, I'm just going to let the music play now. If you don't enjoy the music, you can mute it and listen to something else. But stay tuned for the end of the video where I will show you the snipper roll up close. Have fun!
and it's finished. I really like how it turned out. Uh, I didn't really film the closure because it was a disaster to film uh, while uh, it was so fiddly. So I kept going out of frame and such. So I was like, okay, I will just try to explain what I did. Uh, so I took the string and then I formed a loop like so. And then while holding this loop, like so, I started wrapping around the bone and then uh, the bone got connected like so. So instead of wrapping it completely, you just make sure that you leave a loop on. And then the excess thread I used to attach this key to. And then on the other side of the hitch post is a spider. And this is simply when you screw it on, just lead your thread underneath and then screw it tight and now it's stuck. So this is the closure, very simple. And then we're gonna slowly unroll it. Um, I think I am zoomed in enough, I hope I am, so that you can see all the details. Well, it's basically little clusters. Uh, so I'm just going over every one of them, just quickly. We have a little witch here and then a little cello tape. I hope the light is not blinding everything. Then we have two girls that like to play hide and seek. And we have another witch. And then a mini cluster here. And I re actually really like this. <laughs> it's so cute. And I did some stamping here and there off camera as well. And then two kids that want to join the ghost train. And then I had a ticket that said Enchanted Forest or something. So I glued it as if it says rest, join here, and then the date, and then Playland of the Condemned. I don't know if you can see it. This was not planned. This was I was cutting it and then I was like, oh, look at that. That forms sort of like a, a sentence here. So that was fun. Um, and then I did some cello tape over the top to add uh, some interest. I really like this cluster too. I think it's just so funny with the uh, skull and um, skeleton, I mean. And then another one. And I really love the washies as well from uh, Crafty by Tony. They really fit it quite well. And then this one, that's all about poisoning. And not all of them really have a story, of course. This is just random. This is a ghost. And then um, a little, uh, little girl with her grandpa going to the doctors, getting poisoned probably. And then the owl. I love that owl. And then the four little boys with the pumpkin baskets. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, that's it for this project. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you are going to craft along with me, don't forget to tag me in your socials because I really would love to see what you make. Also, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and this is your first time visiting, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below and subscribe if you have not yet, because it really, really helps my channel grow and it's greatly appreciated. Um, thank you for watching. Have a nice day wherever you are and I will see you in the next spooky project. Bye.